Now let us talk about question number 39 and it is from heat and mass transfer once again and from heat exchanger. And it says that in a counter flow heat exchanger water is heated at the rate of 1.5 kg per second. Right? Uh, from 40 degree to 80 degree Celsius by an oil entering at 120 degree Celsius and leaving at 60 degree Celsius. The specific heat of water and oil are given to you. The overall heat transfer coefficient is also given to you. The required heat transfer surface area you have to find out. So let us write down everything, whatever we know about uh, the problem. That there is one counter flow heat exchanger and uh, obviously the oil enters from here till here and you know, this is the direction. Whereas the water enters from here and leaves from here. And the oil is at temperature of 120 degrees Celsius and it leaves at 60 degrees Celsius, it cools down, whereas water enters at 40 degrees Celsius and it, <coughs> it exits at 80 degrees Celsius, right? So you can see that theta 1 is 40, theta 1 is 40 degrees Celsius and theta 2 is 20 degrees Celsius. Theta 2 is 20 degrees Celsius, that's all. And, uh, right. So, we have to calculate the required heat transfer surface area. So we know from uh, this equation that is Q is equal to U into A into uh, theta M which is nothing but the log LMTD, right? <coughs> log mean temperature difference theta M and U is given to you. Area we have to find out. Q has to be found out but we can find out from uh, the given data and theta m also can be found out. So let us start with the computation of theta m which is the simplest part actually. So that's why and uh, theta m is given by theta 1 minus theta 2 divided by natural log of theta 1 divided by theta 2. Okay. Now theta m is nothing but it's 40 minus 20 divided by ln 40 by 20 and uh, you are going to obtain theta m as It's 28.85, what I get, 28.85 degrees Celsius, right? Let me check it also. Yes, it is correct. And now let us, so this we know, this we know, and Q has to be found out. So Q is nothing but, Q is nothing but, uh, it is M C P uh, delta T, right? And suppose if I'm talking about uh, the hot oil, so it will be M H C P H and delta T H. In a similar manner, it could be for the cold fluid, which is the water, MC, CPC and uh, delta TC, that's all. And what is MH? MH is nothing but, um, it is 1.5 kg per second, mass flow rate actually it is. So 1.5 and what is CP of water? You know it's 4.2 into 10 to the power 3, actually 4200 and delta TH. So what is delta TH? So it is the difference between the exit and inlet temperature of water which is 80 minus 40 is 40 degrees Celsius, right, 40 degrees. Now when you will compute all these things, you will get Q, uh, value for Q as 1.5 times you will get 252 three zeros, 252 one, two, three. Right? Or here. Uh, yeah. So this is 252000 watt. And uh, now we can easily calculate the surface area. I don't have to do anything now. A is equal to uh, 252000 divided by U. <coughs> U will, uh, will be. Okay. Firstly, let us write down 28.85. And uh, what is the value for U? U is. Um, it is 400, it is given as 400, okay, it has been given to you as 400. Twenty one point eight three is what I am getting, twenty one point eight three meter square is, <coughs> should be the correct answer, it should be the correct answer, right. <coughs> 
Yeah, and uh, option D is given to you as 24.1.84, which is uh, the exact same value, right? So, yeah, th so this is how the question 39 has to be solved, and the correct option is option D. That is the answer.